What's up, my pilots? Angry Ponder here, and we're back playing Let's Until the Wind Waker, just like you expected me to say. In this episode, we are going to go to more places. You know, more bars and more places and all that nonsense. This episode is sponsored by Sprint. First place we're going to go is... Actually, we're going to go back to Headstone Island. Uh, just down here, just east of Outset. Because in this episode, we are going to take out the four remaining submarines. There are seven total, and we've already done three, so almost halfway there. Yep, the first is here at Headstone Island, Headstone Isle, just east of Outset. It may seem a little strange, the order that I'm doing things in, because uh, geographically it certainly makes no sense. I'm just going all over the place, uh, going <laughs> wherever, uh, but Conceptually, I'm trying to do things in sort of an ordered way, so I can track what we've done more easily, because when I look at, okay, well, my first thought was, let's just get all the heart pieces, right? Let's go for all the heart pieces. Well, a bunch of them are sunken treasures that you're only going to be able to get if you have treasure charts. So it makes sense to get the treasure charts first. But then to get the treasure charts, you need to go and get the submarines. So, submarines first. It's all going to come around eventually. There's the submarine over there, I think. I believe I see it. That looks too small to be an island. Indeed, it is a submarine. Let us continue. Yeah, so we only got four submarines to hit in this episode, and uh, the last one is going to have a nice little reward for us. So taking out the submarines, the big octos, and the great fairies uh, is just a, it's a good way to start this, because... It means that any of the random things we see as we're going around this as we're going around this sea uh, don't matter no more because we've already done them. Which means we can focus on the islands themselves because yeah, that's where the fun is to be had. Really, the secret caves and things, finding the hidden treasures. Oh, hello! Walked right off. There's a lot of bombs down here. Am I supposed to kill you guys? I don't really want to. I see the rabbit hole over here. <laughs> rabbit hole. Rat hole over here. Can I bait you guys into being friends with me? No? Fine! You wanna play that game? Oh! This is not working out for me. Oh god, everything's on fire! And they don't let you out. I throw you down here and just... Alright, how, to... how am I supposed to do this? Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, boomerang? I can't tell. What am I actually supposed to do here? I'm supposed to kill the rats with bombs, certainly. Although, hello. I bet ah, if I locked on the boomerang, it would actually work. Are there a finite number of rats in here? I think as long as I keep moving, I should be fine, right? Uh, I should see a diminishing rat count pretty soon. I should take out a bunch of them. Yeah, boomerang definitely seems the best way to do this. I'm not wasting arrows or anything. Is that everybody? No. Still hiding over here in the corner. I thought I saw one more on the wall. No, that's it. Okay. It's <laughs> an interesting submarine. I don't remember that one from previous playthroughs. Although I must have completed it if I found it at all, because since there's no way out. Alright. It's a golden ladder! Let's get ourselves some treasure. I feel really stupid because, dang it, <laughs> I'm not even on ice and I can't do it. Uh, I feel really stupid because I forgot to turn my mic on for the last episode, which is just so dumb. Like, how do you, how do you F that up? I've been LPing for, hmm, actually it's been more than three years now. I just realized that. Yeah, it's been three years. Just about. I think it's actually been more than three years. So I've been doing this for more than three years. How do you forget to turn your mic on? I guess it's just those sorts of things. And you never really... Oh, bomb. It's those sorts of things that you never really can outgrow. <laughs> as, a, as a video maker. You know. Thank you. Get some money. You know, I mean, I never have trouble... And then I, I feel like most of the mistakes I make nowadays are in editing, where I do something really dumb, like switch two video files, like I did in that one. 
a racing video, and then, you know, stuff like that. I don't, I don't forget to record, but I guess, uh, you're never really totally immune. That's the first time that's happened in months, though, so, you yeah, know. I think what actually happened is I tried to click on it, and I just missed it, because I'm still not totally used to my new mouse. E1. Okay, well, that's northeast of Windfall. It's a new island for us. Sweet. Maybe I'll fill in the island when we get there. Maybe I won't. It depends on whether or not I find the submarine first. You know. So I played a game today that I haven't played in a... Well, let's talk about that in post-commentary, shall I? I haven't post-commentated the previous episode yet. I need to do it soon. So before I forget what I was thinking about when I made the video. Alright. Sail away. Is that it right there? No, that's a fairy island. Is that it? No, that's an island island. Okay, so I can't see the submarine yet. Probably because it's over here. Look around here. The wind's blowing east. We're going northeast. Doesn't really matter. It looks like... It looks like yeah, from the looks of it, this is one of the reefs. So I'm, I might not do anything on it. We will visit all of the islands eventually. There's something to do on every single one of them, so... Some will probably come before others. You're sailing at a 45 degree angle to the wind coming in like this. It's not... it doesn't slow you down much. It's, there's no point in changing the wind at this point. We'll sort of sail over into this square. Hopefully that the... hopefully the submarine isn't hidden way over behind. Way over to the north, because we're gonna miss it if it is. Looking, I like that it's daytime. I probably should pick up another Wind Waker melody soon. It's a useful one. Hello. Who are you? Is that the? It's not a submarine. I think that's a shop ship. That's weird. What is that near? What island is that near? Oh, it's near Pawprint. That's right. There's a shop ship by Pop Pawprint Dial. Okay, everything's in order. That makes sense. I, I, I just saw the shop ship and was a little bit confused. Didn't think there'd be a, a shop ship just out in the middle of wherever, but... Yeah, he has franchises, I guess you could call them? Uh, all over the sea. Not just by the random... Well, they are next to islands, but not just by the really important ones like Dragon Roost and Outsad, Windfall. So let's see the submarine. I'm sort of just scanning the horizon as we go. We're in the, the square now. I'm gonna angle over a little bit and try and go to the fish. So it looks like we're gonna hit the island before we hit anything else, so might as well. Let's see any submarines. Freaking Yorgs. Yorgs? It's a weird word to pluralize. Let's try an ice arrow on it. We haven't done that nonsense yet, have we? Oh, bollocks. Thankfully they don't... Dang it, why couldn't I take my bow out? That was weird. Ow, he's eating me! Jesus, did you see that? Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Shoot the arrow! Oh, wow. Link has a really slow rate of fire. No. Oh my goodness gracious. We're talking to the boat. It's the boat. Man. Get out of here. How many sharks are around me? Oh god, he's trying to eat me again. Just get it. Let's get out of here. Ah, he doesn't, he doesn't fire. Wow. Man, it takes... Whoa, where did that shark just go? It takes Link so long to decide to fire that bow a second time. Holy crap, that took ages. Where's the fish? Come here, fish. Damn it, where is he? Oh, he scared the sharks away. That's nice, damn it. Throw the friggin' bait! Why doesn't the B button return? Why is it the A button that puts away your item? It should definitely be the B button. Doesn't that make more sense? Is it just me? I don't know. Ahoy, Mr. Fish. Fill in my chart. I know y'all can hear my chair squeaking. This thing's old. Every time I move, it squeaks. I wonder if I should sneak it up to university with me. Nah, I feel like it take up too much space. Best be careful of sailing these waters when the moon is full. Alright, we'll do. Hang on, is that the submarine over there? I'll have to take my telescope out and look around for it. 
Okay, seriously? Freaking sharks! Let that other one go. If, it, if, the, if the arrow hits the water, it like immediately stops, so... You can't hit anything once your arrows hit the water. Man, we actually took some damage from those bastards. That's pretty crazy. I think, that he, I think that they did more damage to us than a couple of the bosses have at this point. That's a little bit sad. Alright. Let's go inside submarine number two. What have we got? Oh, mini blends. I uh, can't collect anything from these guys, so I'm just gonna use my sword. Thankfully, they usually go out from one shot. Is that it? No. Oh. Apparently, they seem pleased by that. The skulls in the walls are lighting up. Aha! You are defeated. Some hearts would be nice. Oh wow, look how many I got. Spin attack, spin attack! Yes! Actually managed to pull it off. How's really of that? Oh, that's two. Oh, is it the timer? I think it's just a survive for mini this timer. I don't care. I'm gonna keep hitting them, picking up the rupees and stuff that they drop. <gasps> Speaking of which, I'm not picking up the rupees that they're dropping. Oh god, it actually slows. It actually causes slowdown. It causes lag when you hit that many at once because the sword has to detect each one and sort of hit them. You see that, don't you? It actually lags a GameCube. There must be a lot of processing that happens whenever you kill one of those guys. It's probably just loading all the animations for the fact that they're, they're gonna fly away and explode in the smoke. The one downside to that sort of thing. Yeah, it was just a timer, it seems. Okay, cool. Alright, well we have full hearts and magic now, plus some more rupees. Thanks, mini blends. By far the most dangerous foe we've faced. Can I get this chest, please? It's a special chest. Not really. Just like the lights on, I can't tell what I'm doing on this checklist. It's treasure chart number three, nine, nine. Yes. See, I feel like I can't even read what my thing says. All right. I presume that the ladder for my exit is now here. Oh, look at the little flowers growing inside the ship. That's weird. How could they possibly grow there? This ship must be really dirty on the bottom. Submarine! Oh, this is my chance. Yes! Alright, now where are we headed? We're gonna go to... Let's go to the flight control platform next. It's at square... G2, which is just east of Dragon Roost Island. Ah! We're going to see that, anim that animation a lot, aren't we? Something I haven't talked about really is how the moon works in this game. It basically changes phases, I think, once a day. So the entire, I guess, a, a lunar month then would be six days, because that's how long it takes for it to go from full all the way back around to full again. Just be aware of that. Because if, if you're waiting for it to be a full moon or something, because you want to find the... That's the flight control platform, all right. Let's see the submarine. All right, usually it'd be pretty. Usually you have to be a lot closer than that, anyway. So we'll just sail on over here. You see, the flight control platform is just a little bit north of Dragon Roost. Dragon Roost is right in the middle, so the flight control platform will be just a little bit north of that. But yeah, so the moon's some phases. Where is the moon? Where's the? Well, there's Orion. That constellation, that's now framed very well, is Orion. You can see the three stars in the middle that are Orion's belt. Where is the moon? Why is there no moon in the sky? I just saw it in the previous cutscene. Okay, is it... can I... What? It's right there! Why can't I see it through the telescope? Ah, oh, I'm just... ugh. Yeah. So it, it changes phases once a day, basically. Which is ridiculous. It takes a month for it to go through all its phases. On, in real life, but in, not in Zelda. So yeah, lunar month on a, the seas above Hyrule is uh, six days. <laughs> Which would just be crazy. Like, the tides would be ridiculous. Well, I guess 
Mm. I don't know, the, I don't know if it would actually affect the tides, because that's what the rotation is there. Er, I see the submarine over there. Sorry, course with the uh, barrels, you're no longer important compared to the submarine. Alright, shall we visit the fish on the way over? Why not? He's here. He's not too far from the submarine, it seems. I yeah, see, sometimes they're right next to the uh, island, other times they're way over next to some submarine. Oh, the sail just popped out again. What was that? <laughs> huh? Uh, Mr. Boat, what are you doing? <laughs> he just put it away again. Weird. Neat. What do you got to tell me? To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones, you get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago there used to be treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows, there may still be some left, so you should open your eyes and take a good look around. From as high up as the sun to as low down as your toes. And that's the info. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> be honest, I don't know what that hint is supposed to refer to, besides blowing up rocks and finding hearts inside. However that works. Alrighty then. We've reached submarine... Numero Trace. Let's go inside. Let's see what we got. We got some more moblins, maybe? That's what I would bet on. Oh, it's... It's very dark. I don't have anything to illuminate the space, do I? I have fire arrows. Oh, this might be interesting. Oops. That didn't help much. Okay. Well, um... Here goes nothing. That's just my adventuring kit. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's just a button! Harmless. Oh, wizard robes. Alright. Here's where your fire arrows come in handy. One shot, one kill. Where's the other bastard? There's always two of them. Oh, oh gels. Oh, okay, it's gonna be a... A battle sub. I gotcha. I'm fine with that. There is another wizard robe up there. I knew it. Always seem to be in pairs. I wonder if they're mated pairs. Like Paradise Shell Ducks. Okay, he's not over there. No, no, no. Wizard robe. Fire arrow. Yes. Yeah, wizard robes are annoying because if you shoot them with the regular arrows, they, uh, another wizard robe? Yeah, there's four. If you shoot them... Oh, and mini bones coming down now, too. Yeah, it's just a battle sub. There's two of them in here. No, I was looking at the bird when you... Oh, dang it, I can't unlock... I have to kill him because I can't get the game to unlock onto the right person. Get rid of the gels, please. Ugh. You, no, why Why did it do that? The mini blend wasn't even on screen. I was facing towards the wizard robe. Yeah, I might just go up top and kill the wizard robes and then come back down. Damn it! Alright, forget it. I'm gonna free aim these bastards. Ah! Ow! I hate wizard robes. Damn it! I got a move with a mini blend and the fire blast hit me. Where's the wizard robe? Damn it! Get out of my face! You see how they sell them right after they hit you? Little jackasses. Damn it, why did you shoot over there? Ah, of course you can only fire a magic arrow every, like, several seconds. Ice arrow should work. This as well. Damn it, if you can hit him. Yeah, are these guys just infinite? Because they seem to just be going everywhere. Damn. They're not doing well here. Why would you lock onto the mini blend? You never need to lock on the mini blends. They take one hit to kill. Get the friggin' bird up there. There! Jeez. Wait, where is he? Please tell me that's everything. Yeah, the mini bones are just an infinite spawn. That's really irritating. Get out of here. Seriously. Hearts? Damn it! Wow, how did I miss that heart? I thought I walked right through it. <laughs> There's a heart just sitting over here, just in time for me to see it disappear. Uh, Alright, whatever. Walk away ahead after all that nonsense. Yeah, I have a hard time... Why is there not a chest in here? Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, what is happening now? 
<sighs> I have a hard time with the L targeting in this game. I can never seem to get the game to target the character I wanted to target. It seems like during that entire fight, it kept trying to target mini blends when I was purposely trying to point the camera so that it would hit the friggin' birds. You got the platform shard! It shows you where all the platforms are in the ocean, which is kind of interesting, since the platforms don't really have much for you. I think a couple of the platforms have treasure charts? Maybe. I'm not even sure if they have anything that good. Yeah, I don't think the platforms really hold much. I'll have to check my uh, list, but I don't know if anything that we really need comes from a platform. I guess I'll have to just wait and see. That's not what. What are you doing? What song was that? Like any of the songs, they're out 4 4 or then up. So we're now headed to Five Star Isles down in G7, which is actually southeast of the Forest Haven, which we should probably put on our map since it's not just called this area on the warp screen. How crazy is that? Yeah, I'm having problems lately. My mouth keeps getting dry when I'm trying to do videos. Gotta give myself some Diet Coke. Actually, this is a Coke Zero here. I need to get some tab. Gotta go to the grocery store. Fish is all the way over there. Sorry, fish, you're in the wrong direction. We'll have to fill the map in here later. I have a goal, and I will not be distracted! We're headed southeast to the submarine in the square over there. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is Mr. Fish's lucky day. He's actually in the right direction. I wasn't even gonna stop otherwise. Where is he? Yeah, look at him. Right over here behind the island. Hey there, Mr. Fish. Hey there, Mr. Blue. We're so pleased to be with you. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Fish, what you got for us? Fill in that sea chart. Yeah, I'm not gonna have Mr. Boat take out his sail again, are we? We're filling in actually a pretty good portion of the seas now, aren't we? It's more than half, I think. Looks good. Very good. What you got? Just a wee bit north of this island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth! Well, jeez. <laughs> That's no way to talk about Gabe Newell. Alright, where's our submarine? We will not be deterred. That's Five Star Isles over there. And I'm looking for the submarine that is guaranteed to be nearby. Probably gotta sail for a bit before it becomes visible. They're frequently, as you've seen, rather near to something else. A platform, an island, so... But the island is our only visible landmark at this point. Oh, the platform is tempting. I think it's in the next square up, though, actually, so... Yeah, it's not in the right... right not, not in the right square. It couldn't be over there. I'm gonna turn a little bit south to try and aim towards the center of this square. So the Forest Haven's a little bit uh, off to the east. From the east of center, at least. What was I talking about before that? I don't even remember now. I always have those half-complete... There's the submarine. <laughs> Look at that, I'm aiming right for it. Perfect. I always have these half-complete thoughts. I was going to talk about Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind because I remember that they used that song Mr. Blue Eyes in the trailer. Is that? Those are battle boats. That's not the submarine. I feel lied to. I think the submarine might be over there. Uh, forget the fish. What is that over there? It doesn't look like a submarine. It looks like a bunch of stuff. Ah, he's got a bunch of rafts around him. I see. Makes sense. That's cool. It means we're gonna have to pick up some. Uh, we're gonna pick up some more joy pendants. <laughs> Get some more joy pendants. Man, how did that not become a meme? I mean, seriously. Oh, have I told you guys? I think I did actually. That I uh, I unsubscribed from basically everybody like six months ago, and I haven't watched an Antonio Capri Sun video all summer. It's weird. Because it used to be that used to be like what I would do during the summer, like. From, for, for every summer since I found NCS to, uh, to uh, this summer, prior to the summer prior to this one, I basically just, when I didn't have anything else to do, I'd sit around and just, like, watch entire playlists. I did it with some other LPs too, but, I don't know, I found, I, I had a strange... When I went to New Zealand for a month, I didn't watch any LPs or anything, and so I had already been unsubscribed from NCS for a while because I didn't want my... Is there a chest right over there? Hello. I didn't want my commentary to just sound like his. I don't want to be NCS light. Hm, money. 
Sweet. Just leaving it sitting out here in the chest. I like it. Cool. Is there even a guy on that? Oh, there's some barrels. Oh, he's sleeping next to the barrel, isn't he? Yep. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna go inside the submarine now. Last one. This will be the last submarine in the game. Oh, it suddenly got brighter when the sun came up. <laughs> I mean, that tends to happen, right? But yeah, so I unsubbed from NCS and I haven't watched one of his videos for months, so it's kind of weird now. Oh, look at all the moblins. Or rather, bow goblins, I believe. Excuse me. Unlock, thank you. I guess I have to fight these guys, don't I? It's probably why we're here. Oh, we got some bats, too. Let me just get his buddy first. Okay, now we have free license to kill everything we want. Ow! Asshole. It's weird. They can't hit you when you're down, but it doesn't stop them from trying. Remember when this guy here got us some mini boss music to play? Now he's got two of them and a couple buddies, and he doesn't get the mini boss music. I like how it sort of escalates as you go through the game. We got mini boss music for the first Dark Knight we fought too. I don't think that's I don't think that keeps up. You eventually lose that. You don't even get mini boss music for two Dark Knights by the end of it, I think. All right, give me some hearts. Money. All right, that's fine. Better have hearts. Okay, well that didn't. Wow. That last submarine had a lot of fighting, and all we got was the plat. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Is it? No. Not a puzzle. It's just an unlit torch. It's weird. That last submarine had a lot of fighting, and all we got was a platform chart. This one, we kill a couple of Bokoblins, and we got a spiky chest. And you know, if it's a spiky chest, it's gotta be something good. You got a piece of a heart! That's the fourth piece completing another heart container. That makes ten! Holy crap! Awesome! Sweet! Oh, amazing. Wow, okay, sweet. Alright, submarines, done. Ka-ching. Check it off my list. I also got a mark that I got that piece of a heart in the submarines. Wish I could see. Where was this? Five star aisle? Clear the submarine. Gotcha. Awesome. And that is that. Mr. Boat's yawning. Ugh. Well, that is all for this episode. I think uh, the next episode, not sure what we're going to do next. I think a good place to go next would be to Outset. So we'll sail off to there in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.